Well, I think there's the negative side that's happening to globalization where you have nationalism taking over strict tribal views about life, religion, politics, and these tribal views are creating a lot of alienation. However, at the same time, we see the virus is crossing across all lines. It does not recognize national boundaries. So there yeah. is a push towards nationalization, but we have to understand the grief behind this whole tribalization because we are, after all, world citizens. And we have too many people in politics and in organizations who are over-focused on being a citizen only of your country. So yeah. I think there's a danger part and there's also an opportunity. Yeah. Um, I mean, <clears throat> the end of globalization, nice title for a cover page for Economist and Time, right? But actually, if you really think about it, the globalization is now taking on a new wings. Uh, Abhijit, you know this because digitalization is what you write about, right? Now, we used to think about globalization in a, in the traditional global, what you call the the product terms, I mean, the movement of goods and movement of uh, finance and materials, right? The digital is changing the whole world. I mean, think about this pandemic, a small city nobody would have heard about before. From that, we can, the whole world can be affected. So, so what we are really recognizing is this is the inevitable phenomena we are going to. At the same time, what George is referring to is the the human cry for recognition for for that individuality. So how do we come, come up with a globalization 4.0, a globalization with a human face? And that's where the, the real challenge is. 